Okay, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to go over what's new in Blocks 2.1.2. Uh, current August the 10th, which was yesterday I do believe it was, um, and we've got a few new features, so I'm going to go through them all now. So what you want to do is open up Blocks as you were before, and it will then prompt you to update, if not just go on Blocks and then check for updates, where it will check for updates, there's not going to be any updates for me. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can open up a new product or go in to your new product, your new Product. So what I'm going to do is show you guys the first new feature. And the first new feature is that if some, when you first open blocks, it could open like not taking up the whole screen. So you got to then drag it and get perf perfect for the entire screen and all that. So we don't we don't worry about that a nonsense. What we have to do now is just hold the Alt key or Option. Um, it says Alt, so I just call it Alt, even though on the Mac it is Option. And then you'll see instead of changing to full screen like it does now, which uh, some people don't like because they start to see the tab bar at the bottom. Uh, you now get the option with a plus, which on Mac means exp expand to each edge of the screen, like so, and that's really, really good. It saves a lot of time rather than trying to stretch it out just to call it a function. The next function is finally be able to uh, place videos on a web page uh, from the a local. So, in essence, before we only had YouTube or Vimeo videos that we could put on. Um, but now we can put in local files, which is also pretty cool. So to do that, it's quite straightforward. You just click on local file, and then you can drag a video on the top. Uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to drag in this one here. It must be under 10 megabytes as well. Uh, so to help with page loading time. So if I got, I might not have anything that's under. I probably don't, but simply just drag it onto this photo, onto the thing or the canvas, and it will update with your video. Uh, and you can have 16 by 9 or 14 by 3. Uh, so I prefer 16 by 9, which is the default widescreen. And there you go, you get the default HTML5 uh, video player in the browser. Like this is the Safari version, but if you're in Chrome, it will look slightly different. Uh, this little bar here. Uh, yeah, quite cool. So you can have don't have to rely on video services such as YouTube anymore you can use your own which is pretty straightforward um, and the final one I can't really demonstrate but Google Analytics has been moved to the end of the he header tag to support partial like page load tracking so if I go on to if I go on to preferences no nope, it's not preferences of product settings which is uh, here um, and go on to Google Analytics which is here so if you pop to Google Analytics tracking code I'm just going to make it up so you guys can see and if I export to, to the browser like this that hasn't quite worked but you can see where it will come up you usually wouldn't see that because I haven't typed in a script tag so the browser can still see it so you'll see here it's moved to the end of the head so there's head and it's got everything and then it's got the Google Analytics Google Analytics used to be at the top or you sometimes used to be at the bottom of the page as well, I think. So that's been moved. With this helps with uh, partial page load trackers. So if the user doesn't load the full page, um, they exit out before the full page load is. Then you can get analytics telling you that a certain percentage of users hasn't haven't fully loaded your page, which means the loading times was too long for your page, and people couldn't be bothered to wait. Um, or just users, just yeah, that's pretty much it really. So that's another cool statistics. With of course that that figure's quite high. Then obviously you want to uh, make your loading times a lot less. Um, last few fixes. We've got quite a few bug fixes in this release. Um, Issue that caused four. Then all these stuff here. Uh, so yeah, it's all with blocks two point one point two. Stay tuned. We got blocks two point two beta coming out in the next few days. I'll be sure to do a video on that. Lots of cool new features uh, for blocks two that we've all been asking for. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video that's coming soon. Bye-bye.